This is Eric Byte of Galactic News. Recently, due to space-time instability, the Star Squadron server has faced a reset. Pandora Haven and Jakar has been moved to safe spaces, away from bullets and material resources. The space-time instability has caused other servers to be disrupted as well. The Starmada server has been so unstable that the space is shut down and many of the Starmada members have moved over to the Star Squadron server, forming the Armada faction. Even though the old Free Worlds Commonwealth and the United Larmar Alliance has been dissolved, two new groups have formed, one consisting of the original Star Squadron members and one of the new Starmada server refugees. Some parties are however yet unaligned. The Jimadism Industries has not yet decided side. But it is clear that one group or the other will likely try to take control over the areas of this server. Now over to today's main news. We are as we speak moving towards an ancient temple that just has been found by the Armada faction. The Star Squadron is also there and investigating. I, myself, Eric Byte, will go down to the planet and see what's happening. Well hello, this is Galactic News Eric Byte. We are here on Ayano Temple Planet and are broadcasting live. The temple has just been found by the Armada members of the Star Squadron server. The Squadron group has recently also came to notice this temple and have came here after the information leaked out from the Armada faction. It is unknown what this temple does or what its function is, and the value of the temple is also unknown. A hole is being digged as we watch down to the bellows of this ancient temple. Yeah, this is ancient, uh, ancient logic, all right. Oh, hey. There's a hole in the wall over here. There's a pyramid over here. Whoa. Whoa. Watch the first step. There's a hole. Mind the gap. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> An ancient anti-gravity temple. Is this a door? It's a I don't door. Know. This looked like a door. There's be a cave over on the side. Do we have any expert here that knows what this is for something? Is well, this... Zaktar is our uh, ancient alien uh, expert. I mean, I don't know. You know, it's a lot of it's speculation, right? There seems to be a lot of damage with this temple. It's their functionality is normally much more advanced than this. Oh. I understand, but you can confirm this is alien technology. Oh, for certain, but it's it must be far far more ancient than any other ruins we've discovered so far. Is this like a thermal energy source? That may be clear why it still works. <laughs> like almost seems like as if it's drawing power up those red conduits. Like yeah, let me see. Oh wow, I had I hadn't yeah, gotten down to this level. Pretty hmm. warm down here. I think it is awfully this, warm. This planet seems to have a a very large core, and it seems to be feeding power directly off of the planet's core. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm seeing. Yeah, that's what I'm getting on my scanners as well. Makes you wonder what it needs all that power for. This temple yeah. must have some sort of purpose. Asian alien so specialist, what do you say this is for a sort of temple? I'm still examining the uh, the pieces here, but it looks to be like it's some sort of control nexus feeding power to something else. I find the fact that it's shaped it's very pyramid like else. or ziggurat like uh, very interesting, you know? Mm. Reminiscent of Earth like structures, but yet at the same time remaining completely alien. Have you others noticed the beacon sticking out of the top? 
Uh, yeah, Eric, yeah. I actually did notice a beacon. I'm not yeah. getting anything from that, though. Nothing picking up on my scanner significantly. It looks like the beacon was deployed from this center of the power station as well. Well, um, I think we're just going to have to keep investigating this thing. Uh, Squadron's going to take over from here, guys. Uh, what, I don't know about what, that, What do dude. you need? We were here first. Like, thanks for the assist and everything, but... No, uh, I mean, like, we were also here at the same time. I mean, you guys didn't really discover anything without us, and, you know, we, uh, we've got things from here, so don't, don't worry about it. Just... Uh, not too sure we agree with that, but we'll put a pin in it for a minute. I found a button. Oh, look at that. You can't press the button anymore. What? what? Star Squadron has taken control. Oh, dude, that is not cool. Shoot the bastards, Gary. <laughs> no, you know. I mean, I didn't really want to turn to violence already. I mean, we only. You don't have to take violence. I mean, I'm just we're just taking control of it. I mean, that's. I mean, if you guys yeah, are getting we, all we... all violent about it, that sounds uh, that sounds pretty low. Oh no, not this again. But dude, we do not know like what what's going on here. What kind of power could be here? And one side, a just go ahead absolutely. and claim it's just not. No, on. yeah, well, no. Ex what ha we have to. I mean, we just got we, exactly what you said. We don't know what's going on here. We have to take control of the situation. What, so that any I, advantage possible you had to take for yourselves? Well, uh, I think that eventually the technology would benefit all humankind. Oh, do not give me that You're an like, trickle down economics crap. What is happening here? I don't know. They, these these are Armada people seem to think that they, uh, they run the galaxy now and uh, think that anything they find is theirs. I would could say the same keep about things you. from humankind. Okay, this is live from Galactic News. It seems like Jay's machine and the Armada people have a dispute of who's going to take control of this place. It seems Actually, that they can't cooperate. There's no, there's no dispute about it. I mean, I've taken control. I've seen the show before, so I'm going to activate this transporter and get the heck out of here. Well. Yeah, Zach, Tar, that might be a good idea. These guys are talking about violence. Well, no, well, that doesn't have to turn to violence. They're just saying, like, making decisions like we're just taking this is the kind of thing that would lead to a violent reaction. I'm not saying it has to get to that. That's really putting the ball more in your court. Chase machine fires the missiles. Hostile. The that hurt. <laughs> well, sure. We have first-hand combat footage here. It seems to be out of violent scene here. J Jay's machine's drawn weapon. Drop it, Gary Jay. Kane is disappeared. Running away, <laughs> is it firing shots and then just vanishing through walls? Is that the trick? A magic. Apparently so. Shouldn't expect anything less from someone who's oh, no. less than human. This is an human. awful time to have connection issues. Well, you know. I did not bring a warship to this party. I'm out of here. Well, no one should have brought a warship to this party. We were working no, no, together Zach, until no, Jace just, just hang decided tight he's up just there. taking everything. Oh, we're taking everything. What's this we? All your friends are leaving. How about we sit down and discuss this like gentlemen instead of you taking pot shots and then disappearing? Okay. Fair enough. All right. I'll meet you topside, and we'll talk about this properly. All right. No guns. I have a mushroom in my hand. Fair enough. Galactic News will film this very important meeting. It seems like this dispute are going to be made up at at spot between Gary Kane and Jace Machine, which claims to have the whole Star Squadron behind him. Oh, absolutely. I mean. The Star Squadron uh, has been running this galaxy for a good three years now, and uh, you know that's we're just the administration, it's just how it works. And I personally am an administrator, so I mean it's my responsibility to take control and lock this thing down. Well, how about since you know we may be new here, but in the spirit of cooperation, we could choose to lock it down without stealing it for a faction, and we could discover everything together instead of causing tension 
amongst people who have only recently got to your galaxy. I mean, we did receive the signal. I would argue that ah! Schultz fired. Dude. <laughs> galactic, the galactic needs to try to get out the line of fire. This is a. They fire at Chase Machine. Oh my God! What's happening? I don't know. Yeah, There's a third person firing. It seems like all the Armada members collected have ganged up to shoot down Jace Machine. Something is definitely raining railguns down on us. Repeat that, someone's firing from orbit? Yeah, there are heavy shots hitting. Alright, watch yourself Sven. We have to take control of this planet. I almost shot you Eric, watch yourself. Galactic News is watching live as a war have broken out onto the old temple site. The outcome is very uncertain, but both factions claims the rights to this place. Chase, this is insane. You know you, sh you can work together with this. Zaktar, I'm just doing my job. You want to keep holding on to your job. You button your lip. You have problems with it, you can write ah. a, uh, an official complaint later on. We'll talk about it over some tea at the base. But right now we have to deal with some armada scum. I'm not sure I can agree with your methods anymore. You may have hired me as a mercenary and as a tech advisor, but I don't like the way you turn on people who were just offering to help. Well, I'm sorry I have to do this. Again, take it up with the, with the board. I'm sure the rest of the squadron's got my back on this. Luckily for you, for some reason, I can't seem to change the, my faction orders declaring war, but you win this round. Well, I don't think you can just keep that planet after such a devious stab in the back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think it was that devious. I pretty much told you what I was going to do. Very, yeah, you very... told me you were going to come and have a conversation with me, and then you shot me in the face. You had another one. Ah, oh, damn it. We're watching live. Gary Kane has surrendered with the entire Armada faction, but the squadron continues firing. We are following down Sven the Slayer down to the core of this ancient temple. The Star Squadron, or the Squadron, has officially won this battle. The Armada promises the battle is not over. We can watch as Sven the Slayer takes control over the station. Ben, this is Jace Machine. I just rebooted into a new shell. What's the set of, uh, situation over there? Over. Uh, I've neutralized uh, both Dugamus and uh, Gary Kane, and I've taken control of the temple. Take control of the sector or the uh, the system for us as well. We're gonna want to take advantage of the mining rights. Will do. Thank you. Good work, Sven. Sven the Slayer goes down to take control of the entire system. The Armada is defeated, and Sven, as the last man standing, makes the efforts to ensure this victory. The battle is not over, and the Armada promises retribution. In this very conflicted zone, the Galactic News will now move out and come back here and see what's happening later on. Right now, this area is under squadron control. The Armada is not welcome here at this moment.